Hello everybody, so today I'll be replacing the M.2 NVMe SSD drive on my laptop. As you can see it's a Samsung 500GB. I'm going to be replacing it with this uh, Western Digital 1TB one. Now this 1TB one, one is actually a Gen 4. My laptop is supposed to take Gen 3's but the Gen 4's are backwards compatible so they should work just fine. Now there are other types of M.2 drives, uh, particularly the SATA version. So you want to make sure that you get the right one for your laptop. But once you do have the right one, it's as uh, simple as just taking out the old one and putting in the new one. Now this is my secondary drive. So my Windows install is on another one on the other side of this laptop. So all I'm going to need to do is put this one in and use it as my secondary drive. So first I'll have to unscrew the mount on my SSD. Then you just have to pull it out slowly. Mine has this mount that uh, kind of moves around so I have to make sure that it's in the right spot but yours might not look like that. But uh, just have to put in the new SSD in place of where the other one was. It can be a little bit difficult to put in depending on the slot but just be careful not to push it in too hard because they're kind of delicate components. Once you got it in there you just have to mount it back up with the same screw. Make sure that the uh, your SSD doesn't move around too easily, especially if it's a laptop because you'll probably be moving around a lot. And then that's uh, pretty much it. You have a nice new fresh installed NVMe drive. As for the old drive, uh, what I'm going to do is probably use it as a external drive. Uh, you can get enclosures for it um, and just use it as like a really fast USB drive. Now let's head over to Windows and uh, we'll see how to get this set up. So here we are in Windows. As you can see, I don't have the second drive listed on here. Uh, this is something that will happen if you have a really brand new drive that you haven't used before. So what you have to do is go into the Disk Management app. And when you open it up, it'll actually tell you to initialize the drive. Uh, you want to primarily use GPT. And then once you have it initialized, you'll actually see the second drive in the list there. It's that second one with the uh, with the black bar on it. So now that we have that, it's still not showing, so we want to format it and uh, give it a partition. So I'm just going to choose the full drive as one partition. And then here's where you can put in some info. I'm going to take out the name though because I want it just to have the default name. Just like my C drive. And then We'll go through these prompts. Everything should be good and it is already formatted. So now you should see the secondary drive on there. You can use it just like any other storage drive. And we'll check and make sure the size of the drive is correct. And there you go. It's not a full one terabyte but it's pretty close. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time.